starting in tabletop position. Inhale as you drop your belly, lift your chin. Exhale as you round and tuck into cat. Inhale, open up the heart, cow. Exhale, tuck and round to cat. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Press back into downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal this out. Bend and straighten the legs. Movement through the hips. Movement through the shoulders. Trying to find some space between the middle of the shoulder blades, letting your head hang heavy. And step to the top of the mat. Bring your fingertips to your shins. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, heart opener here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Fold forward. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhaling to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Flip the palms, rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus the arms, open through the middle of the upper back. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to high plank. Lower all the way down under your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Now only come up as High as it feels good to the lower back. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees into high plank, and then come back to down dog. Come to your knees. We're going to set up this tabletop shape, bringing one weight behind the right knee. Now, you don't have to use a weight here. I'm using a five pound weight. You can use a two, three, Again, or not a weight, a at, weight all. at all. Each exercise will be 30 seconds. So here we go. Knee to nose. Try to keep your core nice and stable. You're inhaling as you lift up. Exhale as you're crunching into that cat shape. Press it up. Engaging the core, really using the glutes, squeezing the weight so it stays stable. 10 more seconds. All right, from here, little pulses for five, for 10 seconds between sets here. Little pulses. And we're going to go knee to shoulder here. 30 seconds. Squeeze. I'll show you facing you, coming back, right elbow, right knee to right shoulder, squeeze, coming back to that neutral center position that we've started on. And then pulsing for 10 seconds. So no rest between sets here, little pulses. We're going to do one more exercise here, knee behind knee. All right, 30 seconds. Bring it back to that start point. Cross the knee over. Make sure you're breathing here, squeezing your right glute. You'll feel it in the left glute as well. Halfway there. Keep going. All right. And then setting up the next exercise. Come up onto your knees, both weights in your hands, palms forwards. Starting with bicep curls. And the option is to lean back here. So if that's too much, just stay with the bicep curls. Avoid swinging the weights. And again, this is another 30 second set. Lean it back, squeezing the glutes. Nice, slow, controlled movement. You're going to inhale as you lower the weights. Exhale as you come up to that bicep curl. All 
right, we're going to set up for the other side with tabletop, bringing the weight behind your knee on the left side, flexing your foot, thigh bone, and begin. Knee to nose. Try not to hold your breath. Squeeze. And then notice how this side feels a little different than the other. Ten seconds. And then we'll go into the pulses. Little pulses. Hold on to that weight. You gotta squeeze it. So there's a lot of activity there. Our next exercise will be knee to shoulder, knee to shoulder. Really utilizing your obliques here, big squeeze. Bring it in, draw it back. Bring it in, draw it back. Keep going. You gotta go at your own pace as well. Little pulses. And then we have one more exercise, the knee behind knee. Tap and lift, 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 tap and lift. Keep going when it gets really fatigued, but that's when the muscles start to change. Final push. Nice job. All right, coming onto your side body. Shoulder, reach under, shoulder, and reach under. So you can always put your right knee down here. And always make sure you come back to the midline. You're reaching up to the sky, reaching under the body, reach, reaching under the body, reach under the body. All right, shake it out. We're going to come back. Um, I'm going to show you on the other side. So we're going to go right into the shoulder press under oblique. So start at the shoulder, reach under, shoulder. Reach under. So make sure your left shoulder is over your wrists. Press it up, back to your shoulder. So try not to swing the weights. Reach, press, reach, press. Now I'm using a five pound weight here. You can always use a three or two or maybe even an eight if you're feeling it. Keep going. All right, nice work. Shake out your wrists. Got one more exercise. And we're gonna change it up here. So standing on your knees, cross the weights behind you for a tricep extension. Press it up. Then again, you can lean it back or you can stay still. So the lean backs are getting a little bit into the quads. Nice and slow and controlled. Now watch that the elbows don't splay out. Keep them nice and tight towards your ears and press up as you press back if you were pressing back. Nice work. Release the weights down to the sides. Shake out your wrists. Come into child's pose. Knees wide, toes to touch. Extend the arms forward. Reverse namaste if you'd like, bringing the palms together at the base of your neck. You can always walk your elbows out to get a little bit more here. Thanks so much for practicing with me today. And Please check out my bio in the description short. of this video if you're interested in teaching yoga sculpt. There's a link to some information about my online teacher training. If you're looking for a full class, I'll also link to some videos in the description as well. Namaste.